What is up guys, in today's video, I wanna basically just break down in the simplest, most purest form, the different types of e-commerce businesses you can get started with, what the typical budget to get started with um, for each one basically entails, um, pros and cons of each, um, just to help you guys decide you know, what to do. Because right now, in, in just this day and age, the internet space, the social media space, everything is so new, okay? It might feel like it's been around for, for, like, for a while, it's just because you've been here, right? But in the scheme of things, there's, there's a lot of opportunity right now to capitalize on, and a lot of people are looking into e-commerce, are looking to get started in e-commerce. So I want to break down a few different methods that, that are very, very popular um, for you guys so you guys can get started with, okay? okay? So the first one is the one that I had my initial success with, okay? So this is called drop shipping, all right? Drop shipping is when you basically, you don't need to ever hold inventory if you don't want to hold inventory, okay? So what I mean by that is that you'll be working with a supplier Okay, in China, in the US, wherever you initially find one, all right, you have a website, okay, supplier, website, customers over here, okay, a customer will go to your website, purchase a product, you take that money, okay, and their information, right, and you go to the supplier and then ship it to your customer, okay, so in the form of it, like, you're dropshipping, so you're never actually holding product when you're doing this, okay, guys, so again, with dropshipping, people like it because one, the capital required to get started is very, very small, okay? So you can literally get started for less than $100 and get everything set up and live, right? All, although, you know, ideally, marketing-wise, you want to be able to have your money to market. That, that's, that's the same for any business, though, across the board. Um, but for dropshipping, it's just so popular because it, you can get started with nothing because you don't need to buy inventory up front. You don't need to buy all this stuff up front. You can just make a website on Shopify, right? Get yourself sorted and then launch and you use the customer's money or you use the orders that you get. You only, you only spend money when you've already made money, okay? That's the beauty of dropshipping. That's why a lot of people are fans of it. And that's why I initially got started with it and then found success in it, okay guys? So that's the, the simplest form of dropshipping and what that is, all right? Now the next one, okay, the next one, well, actually, well, let, me, let, me, let me backtrack. I'm gonna talk about the cons of dropshipping first because there's, there's reasons people don't like it as well. So cons that most of the times, right, when you first get started, you're working with suppliers in China because that's the easiest method to find suppliers and the, just the easiest go-to route right now um, but with that being said you get long shipping times okay so shipping times you know there's e-packet there's different methods of doing it but the cheapest most cost-effective form for you as a business owner as a store owner is e-packet all right that's gonna take 12 to 20 days on average just for mainly like US Europe like the bigger um, sort of like pop, pop, populated areas right now other like third third world countries and stuff that you get orders from can take a lot longer than 12 to 20 days and that's that's just one reason that you know people aren't a big fan of drop shipping um, that's one reason that you know some merchant processors like Stripe PayPal are not usually big fans of drop shipping either is because longer shipping times means more upset customers if you can't manage them properly okay um, and with that being said you get more chargebacks or refund requests right? again if you manage it properly if you set up the right systems in place that's usually not a big issue and there's many workarounds okay but that's just one reason people aren't a big fan now that being said that is kind of what drop shipping is um, again pros just to recap very 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 low capital needed to get started all right and cons just longer shipping times um, now the next one i want to talk about is print on demand which is basically drop shipping but easier like without the main con of the long shipping time right because that's the biggest one with drop shipping now print on demand is you're typically designing products okay so you are selling your own products like design graphic designs that when a customer purchase on your store again you're not ordering inventory up front okay you don't need to do any of that as well but you take that customer's money when you get an order and a manufacturer supplier a, you know, a, a, a screen printing company will put your tea put your design on like a t-shirt a sweater whatever that is and then ship it to your customer okay. yeah so permit is similar to drop shipping in the sense that you don't need inventory again very very low capital required but the biggest con of print on demand is because it is print on demand like they are like literally screen printing your designs on a product once you get bigger your margins are usually it usually a little bit worse than drop shipping okay again this is all you, know, you you can change that by like branding branding angle but that's the same with any e-commerce store is you can you know change your marketing um, and then increase your prices depending on how you're branding your stores right but again with so with print on demand that's the biggest con is your margins are usually not as good. But again, very low capital to get started. You sell your own designs, right? You're not, you're not selling you know, products you already find in China or you know, whatever supplier. It's, it's basically your own designs. Like they are unique to you, your store, whatever that is, but your margins are not as good. Shipping times are fine, 
Okay, but your margins are not as good, okay guys? So that's print on demand in, in its general sense for you, okay? Now, the next one I wanna talk about is FBA or Amazon FBA, which is also very popular. Now this one takes a little bit more capital. So this one initially you're probably gonna be looking at two to three thousand dollars minimum just to get your foot in the door with Amazon FBA, okay? Now what that means is you're still working with suppliers, okay, in China, whatever that is, but you're basically branding it as yourself. You're working with more of on and so like with drop shipping, you're working on AliExpress mostly if you're working with suppliers in China, okay? And then with FBA, you're mostly using Alibaba, um, you know, DHK, there's a bunch of other stuff, right? But in the simplest form, you're working with suppliers to order in bulk, okay? So this is why you need a little bit more capital required. You have to order in bulk, ship it to Amazon's facilities, okay? And then do some stuff on Amazon to get your product listed um, and get it ranked and then do, you know, ads or whatever you're doing um, to get, you know, to make money on Amazon. Now that is very, very hands-off for you. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. Um, you know, at Amazon, like they, they handle everything shipping wise, product wise, product fulfillment, all that kind of stuff. But it takes a, it takes a lot more than dropshipping for Norman does to get your foot in the door, right? And it's a whole different sense because with dropshipping, with print on demand, even with the next one I'm gonna be talking about, you have your own website, okay? So you control your brand image, you control your branding. You, in terms of marketing, you're spending ads, you know, you're buying ads on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram shout outs to drive traffic to your store. Okay, that's what you're doing. With Amazon FBA, it's not the same. You don't, you're not, you're not branding it. You're not, you know, creating a social media presence. You're not doing all this other stuff. You're on Amazon and you're paying Amazon for ads on Amazon most of the time to get ranked, to get more product sales. Okay, so it's a little bit of a different space. Um, again, I just want to break everything down for you so you guys can kind of see which ones you guys prefer, which ones you guys are able to kind of pursue um, right now. This current state of the market. So that, that is basically Amazon FBA again. Um, which is which is nice because again it's, it's pretty automated once you know what you're doing. Um, it's just a little bit of a different field or space um, in terms of marketing, right? And then prime and dropping. Now the last one I want to talk about, guys. Um, I'm basically talking about is private label slash white labeling. Um, what that is, it's it's basically imagine you combined all three of those into one thing. Now, preferably, right? My opinion is this is the best form of e-commerce, but it takes a it takes a lot more experience and it takes more capital than most of these other ones, right? So the private label, white label, you're working with suppliers wherever you find them, okay? You're getting your logo on your own products, right? You're branding it as your own. So again, you're, you have your own website, okay? you have your own social media presence, you're driving traffic, you're creating a brand image around your products, all right? But then you're, they're your products. So you, you've ordered them in bulk already. Your margins are much better than drop shipping, print on demand, anything like that, okay? And you're really like, that is, basically owning your own brand or company, right? With drop shipping, with print on demand, and stuff like that, it, it gets your foot in the door in the e-commerce space, which is why I suggest people start with drop shipping or something like that, because again, it's super, super cheap to get started, okay? But ultimately, like, I want you guys to realize like the end goal, at least in terms of e-commerce, that I want you guys to at least keep in mind is eventually building your own brand, getting your own products, private labeling, having inventory, right? Um, you know, putting your inventory into a pick and pack center or a warehouse fulfillment center, anything like that. Um, where they'll just manage that for you, right? But then that's, that is the angle, just because your margins are so good. Um, you have complete control over your brand identity, your branding, your imagery, your marketing, all this kind of stuff, and, and it's, it's truly like yours. Okay guys, so like again, just to recap with, with, with um, you know, private label, just white label, um, that's basically doing everything yourself. Um, margins are very good, shipping times, very good, because you have the product, you have your own warehouses, you have your own fulfillment places, okay? And I mean, the, con, the only real cons is just that it takes more money to get started, right? So typically I would suggest people to have, you know, four or $5,000 just to get started, um, just to have everything get set up, get products, um, have enough to get marketing. Obviously, if you, if you have more for that, it's a lot easier to get the ball running. Um, but again, guys, so that's, that's just like kind of four, basically the four main uh, types of e-commerce that, that you guys could potentially get started in and look into. All right, so there's, you know, again, drop shipping, print on demand, Amazon FBA, private label, white label. Okay guys, this is the most expensive one, private label slash white label. Okay, Amazon FBA is probably the second most expensive one. And then print on demand and drop shipping both are very, very cheap to get started. But then again, print on demand, your margins are very low. Drop shipping, your margins are usually a lot better than print on demand. Again, it's about how you brand, how you brand yourself, anything like that, like I teach in my other videos and my course or whatever, but um, all this kind of stuff. So there's four main ones that you guys can get started in. Okay guys, so again, depending on your budget, depending on your experience level, right? If you're brand new, if you're fresh, 
if you just found out what the internet was or e-commerce was the other day, then dropshipping print on demand is probably where you want to be, all right? Um, Amazon FBA, again, you can be a beginner to the space and go into Amazon FBA, but again, you just need a bigger budget, all right? I know a lot of my audience or a lot of people watching this, right? They're young, they're either new to the space or they don't have a huge budget to play with. Dropshipping print on demand is where I would suggest you guys go, okay? Now, if you have experience in marketing, if you have experience in you know, e-commerce already and you have a big budget, Private label, white label, 100%. Without a doubt, that's where you want to be. Okay, and that's where you want to grow a brand, um, and grow a social media presence, because that that ultimately gives the biggest payoff um, for yourself. Okay, guys. So that is a super quick video. I just want to break down these four different types of e-commerce, um, you know, methods that you guys can get started with, depending on where you're at and your current situation, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment. I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check the description for just all the information, everything I talk about, free shit, um, you know, everything. All right, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.